What's up guys and welcome back to Face Over Matter. It's your girl Jay here and in today's video I wanted to show you guys how I kind of bring to life my hair. I know that that's so weird how I said that but I wanted to show you guys how I kind of make my curls come back alive. So this hair is the sleep hair. This is what I wake up to. This is mashed down. I wear a bonnet on it at nighttime just so you know it won't make my hair frizzy. You know my pillowcases or whatever won't make my hair frizzy. So this is flat hair like it has no life to it like it's just sitting. Guess my curls are there but they're just chilling. So this video I wanted to show you guys what I do to get them back beautiful and poofy. So if you're ready to get started let's get right into it. Okay so the first thing that you want to use is a spray bottle. This is actually a makeup spray bottle from NYX but I ran out of the facial spray so I filled it with water. <laughs> but if you do have like a spray bottle definitely use that that's you know but whatever you want to use. Um, I used to take water in my hand and like do that but yeah, I need something that's going to spray. So especially for this type of situation that you're working with, you definitely want to have something that's going to spray water on your hair rather than drench it. So what I'm going to do is run water through my hair, spray it through my hair, but at the same time I'm going to pull it. So let me go ahead and demonstrate. So as I spray, I'm going to start to pull my hair. In a sense, this could make your hair a little frizzy if you continuously do this time after time. But I feel like for the first go round, you'll be okay. And doing this is just simply kind of waking up the product that's in your hair and your hair itself is just kind of giving it back life. You know when something is dry, like think of a beauty sponge. If it's dry, it's small, it's shriveled up, but when you add water, it sucks in that water and becomes bigger. So think about your hair in that sense. As you can tell already, it's becoming more poofy. To avoid adding a ton of water to your hair, especially I know it's getting cold outside where I'm at, so if you want to avoid putting a lot of water in your hair, if that, those cold mornings when you're on your way to work or school or whatever, and you don't want to add a lot of water, just simply give it a quick spray all over of water and then do it. That way you won't have as much water. I like my hair to be kind of wet, not dripping wet, but moisturized. I'm new to the natural hair world, so I don't even know if that's a good thing to do, but as for me, that's what I like to do. I know another way you could do it is if you wanted to go ahead and add some more hair gel. I just personally don't want to add any more hair gel more than I already have in my hair because gel, you know how that does make your hair crunchy. And I don't want crunchy hair like that. Like I don't mind a little crunch, a little texture, but I don't want it super hard. So like I said, you definitely can avoid adding all this water, but I simply like it. So now if you feel like you have gotten enough spray in there, you've pulled them enough, the next step is gonna be very, very essential. Now as of right now, my hair does not have a specific shape. I do not desire to cut my hair in any type of shape or anything. But what I really like is a full front and it kind of forms with my neck. So as you can see right now, it's just kind of sticking out in this circular motion. It has no shape to it. So what I want to do is change that. And now what I'm going to do is take a little, little, little bit of gel, not a lot at all, probably just like a finger full like that, if you can see. And this is simply going to be for the laying process. So now what I'm going to do is just moisturize it in my hand and I'm going to go and start mashing my hair down. This way I can kind of form how I want it to, you know, sit. And then that way the gel is here to get the hair to kind of stick together. Now you can do it without the gel since you already have hair product and gel in your hair. It's more than likely gonna stick since you kind of woke the product up with the water. But me, I just want that extra security that it's gonna stay. The pieces like this that are long. So now that my hair is getting longer, pieces like this start to just kind of stick out. So with that, I'll just tuck it behind my ear. Okay, so the next step is gonna be very fun. This is where you're gonna get your volume. This is where you're gonna and get your poofiness. So if you have a hair pick, grab your hair pick and let's get started. Okay, so what you wanna do first is the same way that you were doing before, you kinda of wanna pull the hair up a little bit. Don't pull it too hard, you're not trying to pull your hair up. Just pull it up a little bit, just so you can get the sticks in there, the prongs or whatever you wanna call it, up into your roots and you just wanna do this pulling up motion. Not pulling up trying to comb through it, you're gonna end up you know, pulling your hair out as well. You just wanna pull it up as far as it'll go, as far as the comb will comb it up. Now once you get to the nap, like right here, I can't pull it anymore, so I'm not gonna try. This is pretty much just going to, like I said before, it's gonna wake up the roots, and if the roots are poofed up, your hair is gonna sit up. So do you see the difference comparing to this side? Oh yes, volume. This is just going to, like I said, it's gonna wake that hair up. And I feel like adding more of the water, you're gonna avoid having a lot of flakes, because gel most 
most of the time, most gels do a flaking situation. Having that water there is gonna keep it from flaking up and being dry, so when you add the water, it gives it moisture, so when you do it, you're not causing flakes. So I'm gonna do this side, and like I said, I'm just gonna go into the roots, pull it up. If you feel a nap, feel, you know, it's harder to pull, just stop. And this time when I did my coils anyway, I did them a lot bigger simply because I wanted to do this style. If you have checked out my video before of my hair coiling or hair, I can't remember the name of it, it's like hair chiseling or something, usually I do them a lot smaller. Simply because for this style, I wanted them to look and appear bigger and have more volume. Now if you guys are new to my channel and are not aware of my hair journey, I started my hair journey April 29th of this year, 2017, and I am now on my seventh month, um, the 29th yesterday actually, seven month date. <laughs> I haven't completed seven months, but it makes, you know, seventh month that I'm gonna be growing it out. I'm so excited to see where it's gonna be in a year. Okay, so now that we have that now, we don't have to add any more product unless you want to. You can definitely do that, but I'm not. I'm just gonna go back through, and now I'm just gonna use my hands to pretty much form how I want my hair to look. And you see how easy that is? You can just go back through and literally form your hair how you want it. I love it how it cuffs the neck and then how it's full up here. That's what I personally like. And then I'm just gonna go through I'm just gonna pull some pieces up. And in a sense, this is, you can kind of think of this as like a teasing method. You know how when some people go in and tease their hair? You can think of it that way, just without the ch ch ch. This is literally just going in trying to comb it up. <laughs> and because the ends are pretty much already styled with gel, you can't comb through it. So that way you'll get your volume. So in a sense, it gives me the vibe of kind of having it shorter in the back and full in the front without actually cutting my hair because you know I'm growing it out. I ain't doing scissors unless I'm, ah, I didn't drop my foundation. Um, you know I don't, I don't wanna put scissors to my hair unless I'm cutting my ends. So other than that, I'm not doing scissors. So <laughs> my hair will stay like this. It'll dry like this, you know, as you leave it and go on about your day, it will dry like this. So you will continue to have that volume. Um, I'm not sure about any other products that you may want to use. I don't know if you people like to use uh, hairsprays or anything like that in natural hair. I'm not sure. Like I said, I'm new to this. So this is just the way that I do it. But it does last me all day and I get a lot of compliments on and I really enjoy wearing my hair like this. And honestly, guys, I feel like if you're starting out your natural hair journey, let it be your journey. Um, I know for me, when I first started out, I was a little insecure about it because my hair was so short and I really couldn't do too much to it and I couldn't wait for it to get like this so I could play with it. But now every day I'm just coming and growing to love my hair even more every day and I'm just so happy that I decided to go on this natural hair journey and not bleach my hair and not cut my hair anymore and relax and all that stuff because I'm really enjoying having my natural hair. And it's honestly a joy knowing that I have beautiful hair and this is what God gave me so I wanted to express that so I hope this encouraged someone if you are thinking about transitioning or anything like that let it be for you I know I did have my you know season of where I wanted to do any and everything to my hair and I did it I cut it I bleached it I shaved it I colored it I dyed it I did it, everything I, like I literally changed my hair up every other month um, probably sometimes shorter than that because I did go to I did go to a beautician and I did get my hair done all the time and I always wanted her to do something like if I had her here she could testify to that that I always was trying to do something different to my hair but it's like now that I am growing it out and just you know you know expressing what the Lord has blessed me with I'm very content with my hair and I love every inch of it I love every piece of it and I'm really enjoying my hair growth so like I said again guys let this be for you if you're thinking about joining the natural hair journey and you just want to get on the train of growing your real natural hair out it's it's a beautiful process and I've really enjoyed it so yeah guys thank you so much for watching I hope this helped you guys with, you know, making your poof come alive after you slept on it all night. You got your beauty sleep, so now you, you want your hair to be beautiful too. So thank you guys so much for watching. So as always, if you're new, I'm Jay. Welcome to my channel. And if you're not new, welcome back. And I thank you so much for supporting me with whatever I do here with my channel. I love each and every one of you to know in. And of course, God willing, I will definitely see you all in my next video. Mwah.